Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2022 ski test. We've got a Fisher Ranger 102 FR. Uh, this ski has just been a real fun thing to look at and ski for the past few years. And we've loved pretty much every minute of it. Uh, really fun overall, all mountain slash free ride ski from Fisher. Uh, definitely has that free ride DNA to it, but just a surprising amount of versatility that kind of keeps it pretty squarely in the all-mountain discussion as well. Uh, these skis do change, um, you know, a lot of the aspects of what you're doing out there. Uh, a lot of it has to do with the construction and kind of the lightweight, more maneuverable, maneuverable excuse me, build of the ski. Uh, so wood core, carbon nose, and metal uh, underfoot for the bindings. Um, so those three materials combine to make just a really fun ski that can do a whole lot of things. That metal isn't really a full, uh, a full laminate, but rather more of a reinforcement, but it does add some torsional stiffness and grip. Um, I would say uh, somewhat needed as well, uh, and it does make this ski carve a little bit better than the lightweight and the width would indicate. Uh, carbon nose does make a big difference. It is pretty stiff at this very end. And then when you get into the rest of the ski, you can see it really bend, uh, leading to that playful and floaty performance that we've loved. But in the, in the shovel, it does um, make it hook up to the turn pretty well. Uh, and that does add to that all mountain versatility. Uh, this one is the 177. It generates a uh, 18 meter turn radius. So it's a little bit, uh, you know, it's pretty average, and that's by design, trying to make this ski do a little bit of everything. Um, they do also use their um, arrow shape technology for constructing the ski. So by curving the top, uh, the top portion of the wood core, um, they're putting more mass in the central portion of the ski, in the shovel and through the tail here, and that gives the ski a stronger, more stable and damp feel while leaving the edges more playful, a uh, little bit easier to twist and bend and get that more kind of smeary and slurvy uh, capabilities when you're in fresh and soft snow. From a uh, profile perspective, we're seeing some good camber underfoot and that leads to the ski's snap and edge grip. And then we do see that longer uh, tip rocker profile. Pretty, pretty low to start um, when you decamber them here. Uh, that rocker extends pretty far down into the ski. That's the free ride influence right there, keeping this thing popping up and out of the snow. Uh, pretty hard to submerge it, especially given the lightweight and that rocker combination. <clears throat> you know, it ends up being a moderate splay just because of how long the rocker profile is, but it does it never seems like it's too much, you know, or too little. Uh, and then a nice rounded taper shape to it. Nothing crazy, nothing bulging out or anything like that. So it just makes a very smooth, uh, easy turning ski, especially in the front and in softer snow. In the tail rocker here, extends right about to where that vertical sidewall starts um, and then kind of keeps it nice and nice and even throughout moderate splay you know we do see kind of that freestyle and twin tip influence here but in more of a free ride format versus uh, true park um, you're more than welcome to take this thing in the park take off land backwards ski switch whatever you want uh, but it is more of that directional shape um, you know, depending on your depending on your mount point, but we do see a little bit more of that dramatic, uh, quick early taper here in the tail. So it just kind of juts out from the from the very end there, uh, and that's going to give you that smeary uh, end end portion of the turn. Really playful, really nice. You know that tail shape is great for trees around here. Um, you know this is one of the better tree skis that we've seen, uh, especially when the trees get tight this thing can maneuver really easily thanks to that carbon nose and that turned up tail with the taper. So nice blend of, uh, you know, flotation, on trail performance, off trail capabilities. We do see a, quite a wide range of skiers on this thing as well, from intermediates all the way to, you know, aggressive experts who, who want to do uh, whatever they want to do. So from the groomers to the backcountry and the park, uh, this thing really does it all quite well. Um, so check this out, uh, the Fisher Ranger 102, 
fr at skiessentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.